So all we ever seem to hear about is the super high end, the XPS, the Spectre, the MacBook Pros. What about the little guys? Not everyone has the money, not everyone has the need for these high end pieces of tech. The average person doesn't create videos, render projects. They've got Word, they've got Excel, um, web browsing, Netflix, some light games. That's all they need. So why spend all this extra money on the expensive tech? Well, in comes Inspiron 5493. This laptop has a 10th generation Core i5, 1035G1, uh, base clock of one gigahertz, a boost clock of 3.6 gigahertz, uh, hyper threading, it's quad core. This model has eight gigabytes of DDR4 2666 RAM. Um, it can support a second stick to run in dual channel. We'll talk about that more in a little bit. And uh, 256 gigabyte NVMe SSD for those quick load speeds. This thing is half the price of an XPS, and you get all that. Now, the build quality is mostly quite plastic. Um, it looks nice, but there's a lot of plastic on this. It's got a 14 inch screen, it's 1080p, and it's got really great viewing angles. Really great viewing angles actually, considering. The keyboard has two levels of backlighting and obviously an off. It's got a responsive tactile trackpad. It's got a weird texture, which I don't really like, but it works fine. The keyboard keys are very tactile. They're nice, they're, they remind me just of my, my XPS. So overall, what we've been waiting for is performance benchmarks. How does this thing hold up? How does it play games? How does it render? Well, let's check it out. Jumping in with some GTA 5, known to be rough on lower end systems. We managed to pull an average of 35 frames per second with highs of 63 and lows of 20. Now, it's not the best experience, but it was playable if you're in a pinch or a hotel room or a dorm room. Next, I loaded up some Skyrim Special Edition. It's a great game with tons of content. This machine gave me a playable experience with an average of 31 frames per second, highs of 43, and lows of 25 frames per second. This was at a 720p resolution, and the Inspiron handled it decently well with very few real drops. Next, I booted up the classic Half-Life 2. At 1080p all high, this game ran pretty well. During my testing, we had an average of 36 frames per second, high of 61, and lows of 28. It is an old game, but I mean, it's a classic for a reason. For the next test, I installed Northgard, a very fun Age of Empires type game. I expect a bit more performance out of the Inspiron on this one. I believe that the lack of dual channel memory is to blame, because it directly correlates with the graphical performance of the integrated graphics. Still, we had an average of 29 frames per second, 34 high, and 19 frame per second lows. The last game I tested was a personal favorite, Overwatch. At all low settings and 720p resolution, the game managed a 39 frame per second average, 59 frames max, 27 frame low. This sounds about equal to the other games tested, difference being that this is a very high paced competitive game. Any hit scan character, I believe the game is unplayable, while on some projectile characters, it's somewhat playable. Overall, I'd say that Overwatch is not a good experience until you get that dual channel RAM. The CPU in this machine is slightly superior to the i7-8550U which I have in my personal XPS 13. So this little i5, which now supports hyper-threading, is actually superior to previous generation i7s.
It's also worth noting that there is a space in the laptop to upgrade to another 2.5 inch SSD or hard drive. My final verdict is this is a killer little machine. As a student or someone who is just, you know, doing Excel and Word, this thing is gonna just decimate those tasks. You don't even need the i5. But if you're wanting to do more, you'll want to get the second stick of RAM. You want to spring for the 16 gigabyte model or save yourself some money, get the eight gig, just like I've got here, and then buy another eight gig stick and stick that in. Try that out. So if you've made it this far in the video, go down there and comment, Bill needs a haircut, because I do. <laughs> so go ahead and comment that and make my wife look up my hair. Anyways, that's all guys. We'll catch you next time. Actually, that's not all. I was wrong. Like if you liked it. Subscribe if you haven't already and you want to see more. You want to find out more about these computers, this tech. I've got a Sony Alpha A6400 review coming up. Uh, I'll be reviewing some more camera gear since I, I you might be able to tell I upgraded. And that is all coming to you real soon, so. What do you think, Stinky? What do you think of the computer? Huh? It's not bad, is it? Not too shabby.